One of my favorite features in Premiere Pro is the ability to use split markers directly on the timeline to clearly organize clips so that you can see what you have at a glance. This is very useful when editing from one sequence to another using the stacked pancake timeline method, which is a popular method of editing in Premiere Pro. Depending on what your project or workflow is, you could organize footage by creating new sequences for each day, camera, scene, interview subject, or b-roll content. You can then place all clips that belong to that category in a sequence. Of course, this might mean you have hours of footage within a single timeline, and you'll need a way to quickly identify and locate clips in your timeline. This is when split markers are useful. Here's an example of how I like to have my sequences organized before I start my edit. The sequence on top is my raw material, and the sequence below is my edit. I like to space out my raw material in a way that allows me to easily see what I have at a glance. This is an example of a narrative scene with different angles and multiple takes per angle. I have a small gap between takes and a large gap between different angles. Above each new angle, I have a split marker that has a description of the kind of angle and the action that happens in the shot. To create a split marker, place your playhead where you'd like to start the marker and hit the Add Marker shortcut, which is M by default. Make sure that you have deselected all clips. If you have a clip selected and your playhead is on top of that clip, the Add Marker shortcut will add the marker to the clip instead of on the timeline. So, with the newly created marker on the timeline, keep your playhead where it is and press M again, which will open up the Edit Marker window. Add the description in either the Name or Comments box. Either box is readable when we turn this into a split marker. From here, there are two ways to create the split marker. Under the Name, we see an option to change the duration of the marker. You can stretch this out, or type in a specific length of time, and when we click OK, we'll see the marker has extended and opened up into a split marker. We can click and drag each edge to adjust the duration, or click the center and hold and drag to adjust the position in the timeline. Another way to create a split marker is to place the playhead where you'd like the marker to begin and press your Add Marker Keyboard shortcut twice. Pressing the Add Marker Keyboard shortcut twice will add a marker to the timeline and automatically open the Marker Options window. You can add a description in either the Name or Comments box and click OK. You'll see I've just created a regular marker, but I can split this marker to extend it by holding down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows while I click the marker. The marker is now split and I can drag either edge. You still have the ability to change marker colors and to visually organize the timeline, which will allow you to quickly find the exact angle, take, or moment you're looking for. Using split markers along with the pancake timeline method is a powerful way to speed up your editing process. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Inside Hollywood's Cutting Rooms on the Adobe Creative Cloud channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials and cutting room conversations.